condition is still same. So you know why that is so. What is wrong in this point? You must comment. Otherwise, let me tell you, you need not to comment for that. You are al already you have loved a lot. Now let's come and find out that uh, has it reached to the all the pins like I'm sure that it is on the uh, charging as well as on the charging IC as one thing I need to confirm that it is reached on the controller I or not. So it is on the pin number eight. Now let's come and check pin number eight. So I am going to check pin number eight. So pin number eight, let me check. Pin number eight. Five, six, seven, eight. We have no voltage on this point. So this is the point you have to careful that uh, you have a three volt on the connector. You have three volt on the charging IC because from there we have pulled up and uh, we have no three volt on the pin number eight. If we directly put a jumper from the uh, charging IC or the point where have we have taken the pull up and to the eight number pin, it will start charging or Look, this is the manageable works I have told you that how can you manage? But uh, if you find that's why the pull up is not working, the simply you have to find that point. This is what I told you that if you don't have a schematic, if you don't have board view, then you can work like this way. You only need to open the charging uh, IC data sheet and you have to find that what pin is uh, SDA and SCL. Now here, this is the RN which we were talking about C. RN2402. Uh, Let's see. This is the RN2402. Okay. And if you see closely, if you see closely, you will find that uh, a crack, a crack is on this point. And it is really a a uh, very big trouble to find out that whether it is crack or not because uh, uh, as soon as I inject the DC in you will find you will find that uh, the voltage is available or not because this is the main pull up we have managed we only need to connect it to the controller IO. We have to reach that voltage to the controller IO only. Then everything will work fine. So here you can see that as it is crack, we need to replace it so that the voltage pull up will reach to the controller IO as well. So either of the option you have, you may manage, you may find. So hopefully, after replacing, it will work. Now, quickly replace it. First of all, let me confirm the value, what the value I'm getting. Around uh, 17, it is going increasing. On this side, 4. Let me replace it. So let's replace it. I need the same register or same value register at least where I have kept it. So I have the other motherboard. Let me remove the register. So let me 
fix it. So I have to clean the terminal which is uh, broken. It is available on the track. My eye is good. Six by six. So it's been around 15 years I have been working the same, but uh, with the grace of Almighty, eyes are absolutely fine. So now let's solder on this point. So now it's looking good. So now let's check the pin number uh, eight. Do we have, now I think everything is okay. Double voltage should not be there. Uh, five, I am required it. I'm uh, gradually getting habituated of this. That is a bad thing. I need to quit it. Five, six, seven, eight. It is on the beep sound. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, absolutely right. We have 3.3 .3 volt. Or you can reach it through the wire as well. So let me remove that one which I have injected because the double uh, is not good. So here the uh, pull up you have uh, only could reach to the charging IC to battery only. The one thing was still remaining that was the controller IO. You have to pull a wire to, I have done so many cases that is why I am sharing this experience to you. Now let me inject the battery pack and uh, let me insert the DC jack and let's check. I don't know what is the condition of the battery is okay or not. The charging chip, which is already replaced, is okay or not. Rest, everything is pending. The one thing I just shown you here, that uh, the requirement I have fulfilled. Now, I need to check the data and clock. Do we have the proper data and clock on the pins? which now the clock is good with 3.3 .3 volt and the data is also present on this point but still it is not charged i will show you in the next case study the uh, second part of this uh, case study that uh, what the remaining thing is here because uh, let me show you how much they have effort to repair this motherboard. So let me show you one point only that uh, the PSID area has been worked a lot. Like uh, randomly this uh, two MOSFET, this register, this register, this register, also the backside FET is changed. Why it is changed? What is the replacement? What was that value? each and everything we need to find out because the current is matter okay and we cannot take it very easily so most of the things like as you can see that these all are changed so in next case study i will give you the solution here i have given you the my experience that you can do you can work without a schematic as per your experience that uh, the requirement you fulfill and uh, the thing will start working unless somebody has messed the motherboard here somebody has already messed the motherboard so that is why it is being so much complicated so bias is also done why i don't know 
So hopefully that you have liked this video. Uh, sorry for that, that the video is too much long. And uh, if you really like this video, please hit the like button. And uh, if you have been constantly watching our video, please share it and subscribe it. And uh, uh, keep on loving like this way. If you are interested in advanced laptop repairing training, then you can contact on the given number. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video.